Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Z test. So this Z test is used for testing of significance or testing of hypothesis and it comes under parametric test. So this Z test mostly we will be using for large sample that is when n is more than 30. So this Z test comes under unit 7 in the subject nursing research and statistics for BSc nursing students. This video is also useful for post basic BSc nursing students and students who are studying MSc nurse. Sink. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Testing for large samples, the level of significance by means of is a test. So testing of significance of mean of population for large sample. Testing of significance of mean for population for large sample. So large sample means you have to use uh, when your sample size is more than 30. When n is more than 30, we can use is a test. Here we can use two main approaches. That is testing of significance of mean of population for single group or testing of significance of mean of population for two large independent groups. So here testing of significance of mean of population for single group B testing of significance of mean of two large independent groups. So let's see one by one. Testing of significance of mean of population for single group. So first one is what? Testing of significance of mean of population for only one group where standard deviation is known. I told it is, is a test you are applying it for large sample. So when you are applying it for large sample, what is the sample size? Yes, the sample size is more than 30. So first when you are testing the hypothesis, the first step is you have to formulate a null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. So H0 repeatedly I am telling in many videos what is H0? H0 is nothing but null hypothesis. Here mu is equal to mu0. Mu is equal to mu0. Mu means test mean of population. Mu0 specified value based on large population. Mu is test mean of population. Mu0 specified value based on large population. Okay, specified value based on large population. Mean value based on large population. So H0 that is null hypothesis. Mu is equal to Mu0. What is Mu? Test mean of population. What is mu naught specified mean value based on large population? So what is alternate hypothesis? Alternate hypothesis H1 means alternate hypothesis which is otherwise called as research hypothesis. Here mu is not equal to mu naught that is either it can be less than mu naught or it can be more than mu naught. Okay so when it comes less than or more than if it is not equal means either it can be uh, less or it can be more. So it is called as two tail test. So it is called as what? Two tail test. So here for large sample n is more than 30 the test statistic z is equal to x bar minus mu naught into square root of n divided by standard deviation. So here you know the standard deviation. So what ma? z is equal to x bar minus mu naught into square root of n divided by standard deviation sigma okay um, x bar minus mu naught into square root of n divided by standard deviation x bar is equal to sample mean n is equal to sample size sigma is equal to population standard deviation x bar sample mean n sample size uh, sigma population standard deviation x bar sample mean n sample size sigma population standard deviation mu naught value of mean under h naught that is null hypothesis what is mu naught mu naught is i have told value of mean under h naught that is null hypothesis okay so n is sample size um, 
sigma means population standard deviation x bar means sample mean so under h naught z follows normal distribution so you have to find out the table value of z at 5% level of significance so here under null hypothesis h naught the z will be following normal distribution so first next step what you have to find out you have to find out table value of z value so you have a z value table chart so from that you have to find Find out at 0.05 level of significance so in uh, google also you can search uh, z distribution table okay z distribution table in that uh, what is the value of 5 percent level of significance you have to find out then inference so calculated z value is always positive okay that's why we will be telling it as what is uh, that modulus even if the value comes in negative also see for z you have put here one dash here one dash even if the calculated value is negative also you should convert it into positive suppose if the calculated z value is for example minus 4 when you are taking modulus of z it becomes plus 4 okay when you are taking modulus of z it becomes plus 4 so you have to um, find out the um, table value of phi uh, z at 5% level of significance then what is the inference so calculated z value is always positive therefore if the calculated value of z is less than the table value of z we accept null hypothesis h0 if the calculated value of z is less than the table value of z we accept null hypothesis h0 if the calculated value of z is more than the table value of z we reject null hypothesis and we accept alternative hypothesis h1 if the calculated value of z is less than the table value of z we accept h0 that is null hypothesis if the calculated value of z is more than the table value of z we will be rejecting null hypothesis h0 and what we will be accepting we will be accepting alternative hypothesis that is h1 so till now we have seen for single group testing of significance so next it is to for significance of difference of mean of two large independent groups when standard deviation is known so testing of for significance difference of mean of two large independent groups when standard deviation is known here h naught is equal to mean of two groups is same or not you are going to find out whether the mean of same group so mean of two groups here we have two independent groups which is same or not you are going to find out so first step what you have to do you have to formulate the null hypothesis what is null hypothesis h naught uh, is mu h0 is what mu0 is equal to mu1 they are telling both are equal whereas in alternative hypothesis h1 they are telling mu0 is not equal to mu1 so it comes and if it is not equal means either it can be less or it can be more i have as i have told earlier so this is comes in coming under what two tail test next here test statistics z is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by square root of standard deviation that is sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square divided by n2 sorry my it is not n square it is n2 okay so what is it z is equal to x bar x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by square root of sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square divided by n2 okay it's n2 so the key for the above formula is x1 bar means mean of first group sigma 1 means standard deviation of first group n1 means sample size of first group x2 bar means mean of second groups standard deviation 2 means standard deviation of second group n2 means sample size of second group n1 and n2 is greater than 30 okay 30 samples that's why it is called as large samples under h0 z follows what distribution normal distribution so the table value of z is 1.96 at 5 percent level of significance which is constant 1.96 at 5 percent level of significance for two tail test okay under h0 z follows normal distribution so the table value of z is 1.96 at 5 percent level of significance for two tail test 
inference if the calculated value of z is greater than the table value 1.96 we reject null hypothesis if the calculated value of modulus of z by here putting this modulus of z so this is modulus of z because even if the z value is negative also as i have told earlier z value is always positive so suppose if it comes in a minus 2.96 you have to convert into plus 2.96 by taking this modulus so if the calculated value of z bar is less than the table value 1.96 um table value of z table value of z which is 1.96 we accept null hypothesis if the calculated value of a modulus of z is greater than the table value 1.96 we reject null hypothesis as usual you have to write the inference okay so this is a test will be coming under 5 marks okay so whatever the content i have given is uh, more than enough for 5 marks question. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in suggested end card, i card as well as in description box. You can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos and research and statistics related videos as well as we have posted many question paper related videos also. If you have any of your relatives studying uh, intermediate uh, uh, first year or second year as well as... Uh, plus one plus two you can watch our channel playlist for science related subjects also thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel